Hello everyone, we are back at it again. This is Mayor Hawk and we are playing Gigantic, this time as HK206, one of the few HKs to survive the war according to his lore. And just look at him, he is beastly. He's got the one eye in the shape of a ruby that looks like it fire amazing lasers, but he looks like he's looking on you with love because you're playing him, you picked him, and he just is so happy and he's so proud. I mean, he survived an entire war that most of his kind is wiped out. But <laughs> with HK, what we're going to try to do is avoid close range combat as much as we can, which is, it's hard to do. Um, hopefully there's no Wu on the enemy team because he uh, can pull you into the combat. So hopefully there isn't one of those on the other, other team. If there's not, we should be pretty safe. We are going to choose to heal allies back at B. That seems to go over pretty well. And for our first point, we're going to increase the rate of fire on our normal gun, and then we're going to worry about sieging in later on. Sieging, sieging is our E skill. Oh, we're here by ourselves, so in spite of our low mobility, we're actually going to try to run over back to our teammates. Um, we, we actually got a, shoe, a few shots in the shoe. We got a shoe! We got a few shots on that uh, enemy trip there. We're going to launch our mortar down there, see if we can't just help him flip some damage. I can't remember the name. I can never remember the snowman's name. I feel really bad. I've looked it up like 46 times because I'm just like, this time I will remember. Charnock, save me! Charnock, help! Charnock! Between the two of us, this shouldn't be a problem. Alright, we got that kill, we just need to get out. We're gonna move back to our healing creature. We are down 70-50. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, let's go ahead and actually power up our mortar, increase the damage, and let's uh, left let's penetrate basic armor on basic attacks. Our C is under attack, so we're gonna try to move over that way and see if we can't do something about it. So we sieged in here. We we lost the creature. We picked up a kill out of it. Now it's us versus the Beckett mono e mono. Oh, and if we never hit attacks, we need to un siege in. Oh, Becker was able to pick a kill on us because we were sieged in. That unfortunately was a very crucial kill. Shame to my household. Two kills, one death, one summon for 10.5 efficiency rating. We really need to get back up for this defend here. Um, I think the majority of our team is sitting back in defense. We need to pick up C as soon as we're done defending here, whether we um, whether we lose the point here or not. We're going to pop those both up and flip and burn on both of them. The Margrave is here inflicting damage. Looks like they are actually unfortunately going to pick up this room, but we picked up a triple kill in the process. Well, at least our team did. I'm not going to take credit for it because I don't think I was given credit for it. maybe even any of them. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and summon. I was going to put up my Drake there, at least the starts of it. I really need to get that um, Colossus or whatever it is that um, I can summon there and prevent them from being able to summon. So I would like a Vengeance match with you, Beckett. Oh, she got out. So it's going to be us versus the young Cyclops here. We do have our teammate Charnog. Uh-oh, enemies are moving in. And two, one, we have our mortar. We're going to go ahead and drop it down. We got popped up somehow. That wall denied us perfectly in our escape attempts. We're going to come get this health. Circle back up and around and see if we can't re-engage. This Margrave is very bold. We are able to pick up a kill on him. We're going to try to re-engage completely on E. Uh, too much focus on the long young Cyclops. Beckett's going to get us. She did again. So we, we got to get Beckett next time. She's killed us twice without us getting her back. I do not want her to continue down that path. Um, let's actually E front damage reduction during Fortify. During Clash, E reduction while Fortify. All right, yeah, so we're going to do that. We have two more points to spend. We can get them while we're flying through the air. Uh, let's do a burning area for three seconds on our mortar. And then what can we get on our right click? Let's hold it down for a charge. And they're all used up. We have two charges on our... Oh man, they powered this up to a full-fledged fire drake. You're, you like fire? I'll burn you. We lost our creature at sea. They lost that creature there. Um, so it is time for us to rampage. <clears throat> 
We're gonna chase off secret rep in here, and let's actually start building towards our own Drake, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and power it up. I know our team needs us on this attack, but I'm hoping to be able to do both here. I'm very much hoping to be able to, oh, it's not charging up, so we're not gonna be able to do both where that wasn't building. Um, so we aren't there like we need to be. I don't know what I was doing wrong there on that summons. Um, maybe we can- Oh! Our teammates didn't even need us, so... Um, good work, teammates. We're trying to make this trip pays for chasing our teammate Beckett. She's trying to turn on the... Our Lord Kenosis now. They're gonna want to summon over here at... Uh... Yep, so we're actually gonna try to go ahead and get out of here. We inflicted some burn. Our, one of our teammates did in fact get a kill. Let's actually go ahead and power this up. Hit him with that. Then we're going to pick up that assist. We almost died there. That Margrave is dealing a good amount of damage. So we do need to come back here for some healing. And we're going to power up. Uh, during 4 to 5 shots we'll do full damage regardless of rank. So that's what we want when we're fortified in. We'll be able to hit from afar. The other one is fortify in and deal increased short range damage. Or I don't even actually think it has anything to fortify actually. We hit that rail gun charge there. He was able to get out unfortunately. We picked up one kill as a team. Let's see if we can't finish off this Lord Kenosis. There we picked up yet another assist. We are assist maestros right now. The flood is definitely hindering our ability to deal damage to him right now. We should, probably should have stopped firing on the on his deflect there. That probably actually hurt us. We're up 90-80, so as long as they don't get a double kill, I think the clutch will actually fall in our favor. Remains to be seen though. Right, we're, so we're fully healed and we're gonna try to move back down here into combat on E, and I think we actually our move here is to come in and fortify in. And uh, now we want to unfortify. Oh, we got surrounded. We got surrounded. Oh no! Oh no, we died the worst death. We died the worst death. Three kills, three deaths, eight assists, three summons for 12.19 efficiency rating. We'll be back up in four seconds provided there are no other deaths on our on our team. There was another death on our team. We just need to get out and let ourselves come back alive. We were able to come back alive. We need to defend this. Hopefully without taking too much damage. We're not there. We're stuck on things. We're going to use our mortar. So we got one of them back away. Lord Kenosis is trying to use his spears. We got a couple kills there. Double hero kill. We can move in on this mountain cyclops now. We didn't charge. I, I always forget to charge my railgun because I used to always build the other way. <laughs> I, I just need to get used. So we're actually going to siege in here. So right there, now we're going to unseize. So we're up 20 nothing already. And we have a point to spend. Moving on to G, I think, is a little bold. <laughs> so I believe G is the Guardian. Um, moving on to F is now outrageous. It says Summer Bloomer. And we can siege in here. So only two of us remain, so if they circle their arm on me, I'm pretty much done. Um, they are clipping points like crazy. We were able to get that kill. They never did circle around to us. Don't know if they're wise to us or not. Uh, it's tied 60-60 right now. Uh, hello, Beckett. I am overdue on trying to kill you. I don't know if now is the time. Our Beckett is here. Oh no, we don't want to be there. Let's come back and get some healing and power up. Don't put anything in the E, it gives you plus 10. Let's do the 400 health shield and immune to disruption. I think is what we want there. So we're fortified. Wow, what a comeback on that one. All this craziness happening right there. I'm slowed down. We need to turn back around. And I cannot remember your name, Snowman. We are on the attack, so he was safe to run that way, but I think, yes, we were able to get that kill. And in time, we should be able to come down here and fortify. We're going to take some heavy damage. 
We're just gonna try to deal damage on the enemy hero. We we're able to pick up that wound. Now our job is to just lay down fire as we try to retreat. It is time for a clash. So we're still counted as in combat, so we're still uh, losing stamina on our retreats. We don't want to battle you right now, Beckett. The health pools are not fair. So we're going to move over here to our fire drink. It's not the same as getting into a summer bloomer, but we will pick up some increased healing and then be able to get back into the battle. I'm enjoying my round as HK so far. I am an assist maestro, which is perfectly fine. 100% um, fine, actually. There we go. Picked up a kill on that Beckett at last. Desperately needed. Let's see if we can't. I don't know if that fight actually came all the way up to here. Probably shouldn't have left our spot. We gave up our siege, but we definitely wanted to give ourselves a chance at defending our teammate. We're now we're actually going to rotate up here to E. There's a lot going on. We're going to try to help out in this kill of the Summer Bloomer. We do have to adjust our attention a little bit here. Let's finish out that Summer Bloomer. So at the very least, we did get that. So it's time to attack again. We did, were not able to... We tried to use our focus there to pick up that kill on the Lord Kenosis. We were unsuccessful. Uh-oh. That's not what we want to have happen here. Teammates! <laughs> Need you! Deflect is bad. He's in there with the deflect. Oh, hello. Oh, was able to pick up oh, the end of the dream. All right, can we pick this up? Can we pick up the win right here? Come on, Chip. You can do it. We all believe it. We did believe. So uh, that was a very good game. <laughs> very successful game for our teammates. We just uh, felt like we were on a very good team overall. We did uh, pretty decent at staying ranged. Oh, look. Uh, finished one of those... Um, cards fortune cards and so uh that's what they're called so we have the four fewest deaths with four because that's where we we're able to stay out of the combat let's look at what other accolades we have we have revenge kill the enemy that killed you last that would have been the beckett avenger kill an enemy hero shortly after they killed one of your allied heroes or creatures protector save an allied hero who is low on health by killing their attacker double hero kill which is exactly what it sounds like summoner which is exact well i guess it's summoner upgrade two creatures in a match shepherd successfully upgrade a creature using your focus i don't know how else to do it guardian defender successfully defend your guardian from receiving a rune i'll have to look into how else to do it because if they give you a word for doing it with your focus there should be another way Assist Breeze, score 3 assists without dying. Wing Man, score 9 assists without dying. Rampage, get, score 6 kills without dying. Nemesis, kill or assist in killing the same enemy hero 4 times without them getting you back. And Arch Enemy, kill or assist in killing the same enemy hero 6 times without them getting you back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. And if you're playing Gigantic, give HK206 some love. He's one of the few remaining of his kind to survive the war. And his eye is amazing. Now, the the skin I had, he does in fact have two eyes. A little sad, I know, but you can mix and match uh, skins a little bit so you could do the traditional skin with um, the weapons of what I had from the, that skin. So you can do a little mix and matching. I believe it's just on the weapon on his left hand, which I believe is his mortar weapon, not his machine gun, but I could be wrong. Uh, I have yet to try it myself, but if you're in love with that single ruby eye, you can still have it with the cool guns. <laughs> so please follow me on Twitter at HawkBill1, and I'll see you guys next time. Merhawk out.